So most of climbing is falling, <laughs> but most of the time I pretty much only take like lower falls that are more controlled because basically if there's like a move that I don't feel confident that I'm going to be able to do then I just like I won't go for it and I mean it's really not that bad to fall it's just like one of those things that it's it's scary but like the more you do it then you get used to it and you'll totally get over it well I mean maybe not everyone but generally like it's one of those things. However, I am definitely not there yet. Like anywhere close to being like, yeah, falling, no big deal. But as I just said, I know that the only way to get there is by taking a whole bunch of falls. And today I ended up kind of like unintentionally working on that. Not by taking a whole bunch of um, big falls, but there was one. That, that definitely got me a little psyched out of the whole thing and I had to really really work through the mental aspects of climbing to be able to um, just like get through it. So after warming up I started trying this one purple and as far as grades go or like the difficulty level it's a V5 at this gym. And I say that because every gym is a bit different and then outside versus inside that's pretty different sometimes too. Anyways, so I attempted it and I couldn't figure it out in the middle, I got a little bit stuck. So I took an intentional fall off the wall. A nice chill little baby fall, completely controlled and not scary. Then I went for it a second time, feeling more confident now that I had a better idea of what all the holds more or less felt like, and I had the sequence worked out. Then I had a quick banana conversation, and shortly after that, I saw a pink problem that caught my eye. Here it is. Oh, Look at it. That looks fun. So this pink is a V6, and I knew that there was no way I was going to be able to do the whole problem right away, but it looked like such a fun project. So I just had to test it out and see what I could do so that I could get whatever I could dialed for the next couple of times that I'm at this gym. And so this pretty much consisted of a lot more super chill falls. Eventually I had to stop trying it because the star hold was totally eating my arm. So I told myself I was done after that, but then I saw this other purple V5 that I was like, ah, okay, like let's see what happens. Um, I ended up almost flashing it despite right here in the middle where I got stuck for a good minute because I didn't see that there was um, a hold outright. So once I realized that, it was all good, until I got to the last move. So around right here is where this problem got pretty scary for me. I was not confident that I could do the last move at all. So instead of just going for it and attempting to finish, I kind of hung out there debating like, should I go for it? Should I not? Should I go for it? Should I not? And then I looked down and was just like, oh man and by that time like I could feel my arms giving out and I knew that I, I just didn't have time to do anything else so I had to take a deep breath and let go so I knew that I needed to immediately try the problem again because if I didn't then I was gonna psych myself out the next time that I attempted it just from remembering that fall because it was like the problem itself wasn't hard it was just that like that commitment required for the last move and yeah sure enough I hopped back on and the fear had already started trying to take over my mind so I got back on for a third attempt and the same thing happened my heart started beating really really fast and I could just feel my whole body being like nope no 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 this is not happening today <laughs> I can't I can't do it 
After that last fail, I came to terms with the fact that I was just gonna let the wall win and I would try the problem again next time and hope that my fear had dissipated. But I really felt like if I didn't do this problem right now, today, and conquer that fall, then it was never gonna happen. So I rested for like five minutes and decided that like, okay, this time was the last time. And yes, when that happened, I was so excited. Cause like, even at the end, I totally hesitated for a little bit and I just had to like tell myself over and over again, like the hold is good, the hold is good. Like just stand up, dude, just stand up. It's gonna be okay. And honestly, when I went for it, I was 100% prepared to fall again. So like when I went for it and I stuck it, at the end, I just kind of hung out there for a little bit because I was just like, wow, I am really surprised that this just happened. And it just felt so good. And it's just super awesome when you get these like these little wins in your climbing, at least for me. Cause it's like, I feel like I've almost like hit a plateau in a way that like, it's not that I can't do certain things. It's more of like the mental game that like, I'm scared to do certain things and I could progress so much further if I would just let go of those fears. So I don't know, that climb in particular, like that move, like succeeding and doing that was just kind of like a personal like milestone for me. Cause like I said, the problem itself wasn't super difficult. It was just, that is something that I really struggle with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.